Right, yeah, g'day, bush camping tools here. Well, I was sent this three LED torch to review. It's called the MS Force. And uh, to see what I've thought about it. Well, I've been carrying it around in my pack now for the last month. It's been, it, we're at the beach here, the back of the dunes. It's had a bit of sand on it, a bit of light salt spray. Uh, been out and about in the night with it. So firstly, it is an absolutely death dealing beam that comes out of this central one. I'm just gonna turn that on, but I won't point it at the camera. It is a deaf, don't know if you can just see it. Close your eyes there, cameraman, for a second. Close your eyes, right there you go there, just pointing the camera, right. Okay, you can open your eyes, cameraman. Right, so deaf dealing beam, if I click it again, the two LEDs on the outside, can you see that there briefly, right? The two LEDs, can you see that? Right, okay, they come on. If I click it again, it goes to all three, and a third click, it's a flash, and, and the fifth clip, rather, it's, it's off. Now, these LEDs, uh, it looks like a luminous SST90 in there, but it's not. It's some kind of copy of one. I don't know what the LEDs are in there, but uh, when you turn these things on, there's some long-lasting phosphorescence. I don't believe it's luminescence. Phosphorescence is some plastic there, and that enables you to find the light in the nighttime when it's switch, switched off. Also, when you turn it on, you can see this there. Can you see that red there coming on there, right? That's so you can see some, you know, if you had this on your head on a bike, maybe you could see that, though I wouldn't advocate using it as a bike light. Um, let's turn that off. So what can I say about it? Okay, it took about six hours to fully charge the batteries with the charger when I got it. I'm not happy about the charger. The charger was, you know, the, the grommet that went into the, the, the cable grommet that went into the charging mechanism. The transformer was not so great. It was a bit loose and I don't know how long that would last for. Certainly these lithium ion batteries in the back here are replaceable. I'll just quickly pull this off here. It's raining a bit here, so I don't wanna really get it wet. It's not waterproof how they say it is. It's really IPX4 rated, but there you go. They're generic. You see those generic uh, lithium ion batteries? They're easily replaceable. They are the 1,800 milliamp, 3.7 volt lithium ion cells. You can get them anywhere. And you can also buy your own charger for these things if something went wrong. The light's not that uh, expensive. I'll put it uh, a price up in, in the description how much it retails for. But anyway, look, it sits, let me just remove these. Don't need them now. Sits on the head all right. You can tilt the light like this. Uh, the negatives about this light is that these are metal on the outside and they have to be metal to act as heat sinks because they're using these lithium ion batteries. They're in parallel, right? So you're drawing the maximum current from them. They're not running in series. They're running in parallel, how I see them wired up on there. And they're probably uh, boosting the current in there too for these LEDs. But my point is, they suck a lot of current, these, and these metal things get pretty damn hot. You can't burn yourself, but you can almost burn yourself. Almost burn yourself if you're not careful, if you're operating this for five minutes or more with this on. But this is an absolutely death dealing uh, beam. This, this beam here, I don't know, just look down on the sand there, cameraman, if you point it down there, you can focus the light, there's the focus. That's the actual lead chip. Can you see that pattern there on the sand, right? That is the surface of the LED. And I've got a big broad beam here. I can focus this. And this is a really, really powerful light. Uh, it's a bit hard to show it in the pitch darkness because the camera won't pick it up. But you can see it here in the twilight. You can still see that beam, can't you, there, right? Okay, so let's look back over this way towards me. I'll turn this off. Two lights there, focused into one, right? Can you see that there on the sand? Okay, look back this way towards me. I'm going to turn that off. That's all three on, and that's flashing off. Okay, so fits on the head pretty well, adjustable. I did find though, because this on the back here is pretty flexible, hold on a minute, is pretty flexible. And the batteries, if you if you do like that with them, they can come out of that, but that not often, obviously if it's on your head, it's not gonna come off, is it? Um, there will be compromises with it because it is such a very powerfully bright light. You know, the manufacturer's gotta make compromises somewhere. It's unbranded, so I'm gonna assume it's made in China. Uh, but be wary, it says on, on the literature it's waterproof, but, it, but it's not. Nowhere on the box does it say it. And when you go to the website, it looks like a bit of a faceless company. It actually says it's IPX4, which is really like this. A bit of light rain splash on it, and that's it. The charging point does sit underneath, and you see that's come out there a bit. It's got a plug on it. So there shouldn't be any water that gets in this if you are, um, you know, if it's not a super torrential downpour super bright light i don't know how long it will last for under you know 
bash it around. As I said, I've purposely put it in my pack to bash it around. This plastic's pretty strong on here. These are out, this is an Allen bolt through here, this pivot in there, so that looks pretty good. The entrance of the cable into the housing looks okay. Uh, this looks like metal, but these backs aren't, that's colored plastic. These silver rings here though, they are metal. This is some kind of aluminium alloy, and there's big lenses, uh, flat lenses on here, reflectors, but this has got a big lens on here so you can focus it. These ones are not focusable. So it's got a push button rubberized switch on here. Um, yeah, what, what can I say? It's, it's just really, really bright. I don't know if we can see it again down there now. Let's turn this on and in the daylight. No, it's not. You can see that actually. Wait on, let me see whether you can see a change in that tree down there. Still too bright daylight at the moment. You can see the flash on the tree now. It's pretty light and that's how bright it is. It's picking it up here uh, in the daylight. It's a pretty bright light, okay? They don't give a, I think that's maybe they say something like 5,000 lux or whatever, some crazy, crazy amount of light power there. But I will put the details in the description, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the light on. This is full beam, you see that there? Now I'm gonna focus that. Can you see that there? Yep, look at that. That's pretty bright. Now this is daylight here and you can easily see that there. Now we're gonna go to the next one, which is the three lights. That's with three lights, it's not as bright because it's sucking more juice. And that's with, uh, no, that's with three lights there, sorry. That's with three lights. That's pretty powerful. This is the flash, the strobe, okay? That's with the strobe, and I'll put all the details of the uh, how long this thing lasts at the end, and that's off. So we've got the first one on, which is the main light. I'll just change the focus. You see that? You can focus it there like that. There's That's the actual image of the LED chip, the surface of the chip there, okay? And this thing reaches like, you know, a couple of hundred meters, no, like no tomorrow. So that's that's the main light. Now this is all three. Uh, no, sorry, that's the outside two. Sorry, that's all three. And that one, that's the strobe. Okay, get that. All right, there you go. So that's the MS Force light. Uh, I think for the price, it's probably a good buy if you compare it to the really well-known brand lights. Uh, so far, it hasn't failed me. Uh, I'll just report back on it in six months' time or so and see how it is, see whether the connections are still okay and something hasn't come loose and how reliable it is. But certainly, it's a deaf dealing light. That, that it's, it's more powerful than my pets or lights. It's, it's just really, really powerful. So there you go. Bush Camping Tools here. Thanks for watching.